Hey everybody, Cure Paul here. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Mexican consulate shopping. This video is directed to those folks who plan on applying for Mexican residency at a Mexican consulate, and as part of that process, will be required to show proof of a certain amount of income or savings or investments to prove that they can support themselves financially without obtaining employment in Mexico. So what do I mean by Mexican consulate shopping? Well, there are about 50 Mexican consulates in the U.S. alone, and you go to a Mexican consulate to apply for residency, and it really comes down to whatever they say. They can say, yes, you can get Mexican residency, or no, you cannot. The interesting thing about these Mexican consulates is that the financial requirements to qualify for residency varies by consulate. It is not consistent at all. That means that a person may be denied at one consulate for not having enough income, but with the same amount of money, go to another consulate and qualify for residency. It is really bizarre. Let's look at some examples. Here are some cities where you'll find the Mexican consulates with some of the highest requirements. Now, this is how much monthly income you'll have to show in order to qualify for temporary residency. In San Diego, California, they want you to have $2,552. Denver's pretty close at $2,593, and Houston's still in that ballpark at $2,550. If you make less than that, you will be denied. So you're like, okay, Paul, those are all pretty much in the same ballpark, right? I mean, it's a few dollars off. How, how big a difference could that make? Now let's compare those numbers with the financial requirements of some other Mexican consulates located in the U.S. McAllen, Texas, $1,735. Albuquerque, New Mexico, $1,300. That is bargain basement stuff right there. And Raleigh, North Carolina, $1,650. As you can see, this is a huge difference, right? Between those consulates sitting around 20 550 and now we're seeing as low as 1300. Now I've discussed why this occurs in other videos so I'm not going to get into all that in this particular video. The point of this video is to make people aware that the financial requirements are not consistent across the board and just because you cannot qualify in say Denver doesn't mean you won't qualify in Albuquerque. So how do you research this? How do you find out what the financial requirements are for each consulate? Well each consulate has their own website, and the financial requirements are often found there, but not always. Let's go to the computer, and I'll show you how to find them. Okay, if you know where a particular consulate is, for example, you know there's one in San Diego. Just go to Google Mexican consulate in San Diego. Um, generally, it's going to be your first, but not always. You want to make sure you go to the government site, which is going to be consulmex.sre.gob.mx. Now, if you don't know where the consulates are. This is a useful site for that. I'm going to put a link to it in the description portion of the video. And you can scroll through and see all the cities where there's a Mexican consulate. This site is really only useful for researching where they are. It doesn't contain the links to the official site. So once you see a city like San Francisco, San Jose, then go to Google and find the official site. Okay, let's go ahead. We have that one from San Diego pulled up. So let's go to that one first and we'll show you where to look. Right up here on top, look for visas. Some of the consulate sites will have options for English and Spanish. Some won't, but you can use your translator, say in Chrome, to uh, translate the page. San Diego does have an English option, so we'll go to that. Um, as you scroll down, San Diego is one of the better consulates as far as information. You can come down and find exactly what you're looking for. You'll see adoption visas, um, temporary resident visas for different reasons. And the one we're talking about today is for economic solvency right here. So you can click on the PDF, and this is going to have all of the requirements that you're going to have to meet to qualify for economic solvency. Now, today we're just talking about temporary residency as just an example of how they all differ, but there's different ways you can qualify, I have different video on that. So we come down here and you can see that one of the ways we can qualify is to have copy of documents and bank statements which prove an income of at least $2,252 per month through employment or pension for the previous six months. All of the consulate websites are going to look similar, but they're not exactly the same. Let's take a look at the one in Houston, Texas. You see the title here is a little bit different, but we're making sure that it's consulmex.sre.gob.mx. Now in this one on top, it didn't have visa, but it did have services for foreigners, that's you. And under here, you have visas. Now theirs looks a little bit different, but I can still go come down here to temporary resident visa and under financial solvency, here's what they need. 
and they're looking for about $2,500. Not all of the consulate sites have their financial requirements on them. One of the examples is McAllen, Texas. It has the documentation to bring, but it does not tell you what kind of financial thresholds you have to meet. In a case like this, you're going to have to contact the individual consulate, either through email or phone, to figure out what those financial limits are. Well, now that you know how to do a little research on this, you can spend some time today you know, exploring these sites and seeing which consulate would be best for you. One thing I would like to mention is that there are some consulates that will only serve people who live within a certain geographic area. In other words, they don't want you flying in from another state to visit them. Perhaps this is done to cut down on consulate shopping. I don't know. The good news is that this is not the policy at the majority of US-based Mexican consulates. So let the shopping begin. Well, that's it for today. If you found the video informative, just do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. And until next time, hasta luego.